Hello everybody, this is Pun, the Frugal Streamer, and I have a video for you. I think a lot of new streamers need to understand this, and this is a video by request that discusses what to do when you're having issues with your live stream. OBS Studio is a very powerful tool that gives you a lot of information that you can use to troubleshoot with, so that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do, make sure you check me out on my socials on Twitter at frugal underscore streamer. And if you want to check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash the frugal streamer YT for YouTube. All right, guys. So now let's jump into the video. All right. So let's go ahead and get right into the issue here. Now, first of all, if you do not have this stats window, this is where we're going to be focusing today. If you do not have this uh, displayed in OBS studio, go to view and go to your docs and hit stats. You can also do it here, but I like to have this displayed uh, because this is a great troubleshooting tool if you're having issues with your live stream. So we're gonna focus on three areas. We're gonna look at drop frames and frames missed due to render lag and skip frames due to encoding lag. All right, so what is drop frames? Okay, drop frames is strictly your connection to your Twitch server and the health of that connection. So if you're dropping frames, it means there's something going on between you and the Twitch server. And it could be something internal. It could be your router or your modem, or it just could be congested traffic between you and the server location. So I would recommend you find the most healthiest server that you can stream off of. You should do this before you start a live stream. And sometimes it may not be the closest server to you. For instance, I stream to the Ashburn, Virginia server a lot of the times. That's the closest one to me. But sometimes there's a lot of congestion in the DC area with internet internet uh, traffic. So sometimes I may actually switch my stream to Atlanta, which gives me an actual better stream, even though it's further away. So there is a couple apps out there. I'll provide links in the description below that you can use to test the servers before you go live. So you'll understand what the best server is. Okay, so now let's talk about these other two areas, frames missed due to render lag and encoding lag. Okay, so you could lose frames by having a GPU that's overloaded or an encoder that's overloaded. Okay, so render lag is your GPU is having a hard time rendering things. And this could be, this is all related to your preview in OBS Studio because your GPU is doing a lot of work with Windows. If you're playing a game, it's rendering frames in your game. And if you're dual, if you're live streaming on a single PC, it's also now having to do your preview. And if you have a bunch of layers like I do in my source list here, media files, that sort of thing, all these different things that need to be in this preview, it has to render all of that stuff. So if you have uh, animated video uh, media files like my camera frame here, and it's constantly moving, well, that's stuff that has to render. A lot of times your GPU will get overloaded. Now there's an issue with uh, OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS right now in that it uh, Windows has a hard time prioritizing w what your GPU should be rendering. So by default, it's going to prioritize your game over everything else if you're playing a game. But if you run OBS Studio and Admin, they've added a fix so that Windows can prioritize OBS but what will happen is it will affect your performance of your game a little bit and you'll lose some frame rates out of that. But I think that's a better option than losing your quality of your stream. If you have a bunch of frame skipping, people aren't gonna watch it. So that is render lag. There's another way that you can kind of minimize this is you can actually go and if you click this right here, then you'll see the preview is disabled. That gives you an idea you know, of one way that you can lower um, the work that your GPU has to do. Uh, Streamlabs OBS calls it performance mode. Uh, you can enable and disable performance mode to do that. This is mostly an issue for single PC live streamers, most dual PC live streamers, um, or if you're on the console and you're using a PC to stream, uh, you won't have, you shouldn't have an issue with render lag, uh, unless you might be using an onboard GPU, and, which may not have all the power that you may need to do all this rendering, but most people with a dedicated video card um, won't have this issue at all. Let's talk about skip frames due to encoding lag. Okay, so this is where 
your settings are so high that your encoder just cannot handle everything that it's trying to do that you're you're actually trying telling it to try to do so this is where you would kind of adjust your settings more to try to lower the amount of uh work your encoder has to do and that's where you would kind of go into settings here and um you could change your presets and lower the quality of your preset you could change your profile a little bit but the biggest two areas is where you'll get um, help from is lowering your output resolution and lowering your frame rate all right so if you're trying to stream a 1080p or a 1440p stream like i'm doing here with 60 fps you can lower your frame rate to 30 or you can uh you can downscale here to uh say 1080p or 720p or 900p whatever you want to do to try to get some of that encoding lag um gone oh, and, and this is where people can run in some problems uh, now encoding lag is important if you're especially if you're running x264 because your cpu has to do a lot of work now with a dedicated uh encoder on your gpu if you're running nvenc for instance sometimes more than likely you're not going to have too many issues with encoding lag unless you just truly try to push something that's ridiculous uh, but even me with the nvenc the new nvenc that i'm using I can record at 1440p, I can record, I can stream at 1080p with no issues with render lag. Now, there are, there are some issues, there are some things I will call false positives, okay? So there's just some ways you're just not going to be able to avoid skipped frames. And that is stuff like if you're bringing up a video game, for instance. Uh, Origin games, EA games are notorious for this because you'll bring the game up It'll start in one resolution and then it'll upscale to whatever your native resolution is. Normally it's 720p at first and then it'll upscale to your native resolution. That will cause skip frames. Like, There's just sometimes you can't avoid skip frames and mainly like the game start, game starting up will cause that sort of issue. So anyway, but that's really it guys. It's very simple. There's not a lot that you really need to understand more, more than what I've already told you. Um, it's very simple to do and, you know, using these kind of things to uh, troubleshoot your difference between skip frames and, uh, you know, due to un encoding lag or render lag will help you tremendously in fixing your live stream if you're having those kind of issues. So the big thing is I don't want people to think that drop frames has anything to do with their settings because drop frames is strictly your network. So you would look at maybe resetting your router, resetting your modem if you have an internal issue or looking for another server if it's outside of your you know your own home that you're having issues with and that's really the, the major ways that you can combat drop frames now there is one other thing that i will show you there is one other way that you can combat drop frames and that if you go to the advanced menu go down here you can go into the network area here they've added an option here where you can dynamically change bit rate to manage congestion so if you are seeing issues with your live stream and you have dynamic bit rate um, checked, it will lower your bit rate to keep you from dropping frames. Now your stream quality will go away. Um, it could reduce significantly, uh, but at least there you're not dropping frames and you can explain to your viewers what's going on, that you're seeing network congestion and that uh, you know it should eventually improve. So that's just something to keep in mind uh and i and i do run dynamic bitrate because i literally do not have any drop frames anymore um and it works out really good so anyway guys thank you for watching i hope you have a great day i hope this video helped you out uh if you have any questions make sure you hit me up in the comments below again i will look, put the uh links to in the description for those apps that i was telling you about where you can test your uh server health for your different twitch servers okay guys Thank you again. Make sure you hit the like and uh, subscribe if the video helped you out. I would love to see you come back. Anyway, guys, this is Pun Frugal Streamer. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later.